what Zippy Freaking Genius is. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find different angles within a kite, all right? So here we have our kite, and we're gonna try and solve for these three unknown angles, one, two, and three. So first of all, uh, let's start with one over here. So one easy way we can solve for one is by seeing that it's right here where the two diagonals intersect, right? So whenever you have two diagonal lines that intersect inside of a kite like this, it creates a 90 degree angle. Right. So if this is a 90 degree angle, that means this is also, this one's also, and of course this one's also. So angle number one, we'll just write it over here. Angle number one is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. Now let's solve for angle two and three. So next we have angle two. So again, if we know this is 90 degrees, uh, you can see we have a triangle right here. And remember, all the angles inside of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees, right? So if this is 90 and then this one right here is given, it's 45, then this one over here, uh, angle 2, must also be 45 degrees, right? Because 90 plus 45 plus 45 is equal to 180. So angle 2 is 45. And lastly, angle 3 over here, we can actually find that using side 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 okay so if you look at the bigger triangles within the kite so for instance we have this triangle over here on the right and we also have the triangle over here right same triangle on the left and this is going to be really helpful because this is going to help you solve for a lot of angles okay so those are the two big triangles and we're also given that this side is congruent to this side and that this side is congruent to this side. And as you can see, they also share this side in common, right? This big long side in the middle. So it's congruent to itself. So we have two triangles and they have three congruent sides. So that means we also have three congruent angles, right? So if this angle up here is 45 degrees, that means this angle up here is also 45 degrees, all right? And I'll rewrite it over here, 45 degrees. All right, here is our next example. So again, we're just gonna try and solve for one, two, three, four, and five different angles in this case. Okay, so again, starting with number one right here, you can see it's right here uh, where the two diagonals intersect. So that means this is a 90 degree angle, right angle, right? So that means angle one is 90 degrees, right? Now let's go to number two. Uh, well, again, we have a triangle right here. Uh, this angle's 38. This angle, again, is 90. And remember, all three angles inside of a triangle have to add up to 180. So that means angle two over here must be 52 degrees, right? Because 52 plus 38 plus 90 is 180, right? So angle two is 52 degrees. Now let's move on to number three. So again, here, number three, as you can see, if you compare the two big triangles again, this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, and then they have this big middle side in common, right? So then again, we can say it's congruent to itself. So since we have, again, the three congruent sides, that means the three angles are also congruent. So if this angle right here is 38 degrees, that means this angle right here is also 38 degrees. Let's write it over here. 38 degrees. Okay, now let's move on to number four. So number four is right here. So again, uh, we don't know this angle, but we actually do because we know that's a right angle, right? So we know this angle right here where the two lines intersect is 90 degrees. So again, if these three angles have to add up to 180 degrees, that means angle four over here must be equal to 37 degrees, all right, 37 degrees. And then lastly, angle five, right? So angle five is right here. So again, you can use the two big triangles, right? Because we have uh, three sides that are congruent. So that means the three angles are congruent, okay? So again, this angle is congruent to this angle. Uh, basically, this big angle of the big triangle is congruent to this big angle of the triangle. And lastly, this angle over here is congruent to this angle over here. So if this one's 53 degrees, angle five is also 53 degrees. All right, here's the next one. So again, we're gonna try and solve for angle one and two, okay? Now, you might notice that this problem obviously doesn't have any diagonals drawn in it, 
Okay, so one thing that we can do is take the fact that any quadrilateral that has four sides, right? So one, two, three, four, all the angles inside that shape have to add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so we can say that this angle, we obviously know that's 90, right? So we could say 90 plus angle one plus angle two plus uh, this last given angle, 46, is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, now just combining like terms, 90 plus 46 is equal to 136. So here we have 136 plus angle one plus angle two is equal to 360 degrees. Now here to isolate uh, angle one and two, we can subtract 136 from both sides, right? So then here we're just left with angle one plus angle two is equal to 224 degrees. Okay, now one key thing that you need to notice here is that angle one is the same thing as angle two. They're equal to each other, they're congruent. And the way that you can prove that to yourself is you could just draw the longest diagonal, just going down the middle, right down here, right? Now, hopefully that helps you see that we again have side, side, side congruence, right? So this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, and then this side that both triangles share is congruent to itself. Okay, so again, if all three sides are congruent, all three angles are congruent. So again, that means this angle is congruent to this angle, this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle, right? So now that we know angle one and angle two are equal to each other, what's half of 224? Well, half of 224 is 112, okay? So angle one must be equal to 112, and angle two must be equal to 112, right? Because if we add those two together, then 112 plus 112 is again 224, all right? So angle one and angle two are both equal to 112 degrees. All right, now for this example, as you can see, we have our trapezoid and it's sideways over here, and we have two unknown variables. So up here we have three X plus five degrees. Down here we also have four X minus 30 degrees, but we also have a Y, right? So we have this angle right here is Y degrees and this angle over here is 2y minus 20 degrees. Okay, so the easiest way to solve a problem like this is probably gonna be solving for one variable first and then using that to solve for one of the angles and then we can kind of use that to solve for the other unknown variable, all right? So here, one thing that we can do is actually solve for x first because as you can see here with our trapezoid, we have side, side, side congruence again, right? This side is congruent to this side this side is congruent to this side, and then this middle side is, again, congruent to itself. So that means this angle up here is congruent to this angle down here. So we can just, to solve for x, we can say 3x plus 5 is equal to 4x minus 30, right? So we can say 3x plus 5 is equal to 4x minus 30. Now here we can get all the x's on one side, uh, let's move them to the right. Minus 3x, minus 3x, those cancel out. Get the numbers to the left side, so add 30, add 30, right, those cancel out. So then here we're left with 35 is equal to uh, just 1x, or simply x, right? So if x is equal to 35, we can plug that into either one of these two, and let's plug it into this one since it seems like it's a little bit easier. So for this angle, we're going to have 3 times 35 plus 5. Okay, so 3 times 35, that's equal to 105, and 105 plus 5 is equal to 110, right? So that means that this angle over here is equal to 110 degrees, and this angle is also equal to 110 degrees. Okay, great, so we know one angle, and if you look at this triangle, the bottom triangle over here, uh, you can see we're given that this is now 110. This unknown angle is 2y minus 20, and we don't know what this angle is right here, right? But we do know that, again, using the side, side, side congruence, that if this angle is y degrees, that means this angle down here must also be y degrees, okay? So now we know all three angles inside of this triangle, right? We have y, we have 110, and 2y minus 20. And remember, all three angles, when you add them up, 
Inside of any triangle, they should add up to 180. Okay, so then here we can solve for y by setting it up as y plus 110, right, 110 plus 2y minus 20. 2y minus 20 is equal to 180. So then here, combining like terms, we get y plus 2y is equal to 3y, and 110 minus 20 is equal to 90, right? So plus 90 is equal to 180. So then here, solving for y, we can subtract 90 from both sides, boom. So we get that 3y is equal to 90. So here we can see that y must be equal to 30. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.